Pastor Galen Clark, lead pastor at Greater Mount Zion. My brother, uh, he uh, led me to Christ when I was 16 years old. And uh, very early on after being led to Christ, I knew what God was calling me to do. I knew he was calling me to talk for him. And uh, after being saved for one month, I preached my first sermon. Well, one of the things that I learned is that God is never wrong. And if you really have a sense in your heart of what you believe God is telling you to do, if you pursue that, you will not regret it. And I realize everybody does not have that privilege of seeing like very clearly their life mission, the vision that God has for them. But boy, if you have it, run to it. Pastor Clark has always, first of all, always loved God. He's been a man on fire for God, been a guy about the scriptures, and he's like one of the best preachers that I know. So one of the most gratifying things that I do as a pastor is to lead people to discover their purpose. And I think that's the best part of kind of who he is as a pastor. He is always positive, always encouraging, and can really, in his own way, get you to do things you never thought you would do, some things you don't want to do, um, but you want to, um, you want to do everything that God has placed inside of you. And I think he just gives us an opportunity here to do that, which is amazing. It's been a joy. Uh, because he's pushed me and pulled me to places that I never thought I would be. And uh, for that, I'm grateful. When we began this journey to build a building, just about 11, 12 years ago, I didn't know that. And I began to study the church story and discovered this, and I realized, wow, God is going to bring to fulfillment what he started in the hearts and minds of people in the 1950s. And so it was like, uh, to see the end of that journey, I realized that when we walked in this building, we were actually fulfilling the hopes and dreams of four generations of members of Great Mount Zion. And it wasn't just about us, it was about the corporate story of the church. And that long journey, all of the prayers were being fulfilled. We exist to introduce people to a greater leap, a greater way, and a greater life. And that's what I really want to be the legacy of the church. Congratulations, man. We're so excited for you. Congratulations. You the man. You the man. You the man. You are our 2017 Servant Leadership Award honoree.